So I'd love to hear a little bit on how Resolution Project has supported you thus far um, and the mentorship that you've received and also what support you might need to continue or even to scale your work. Um, Michelle, why don't we start with you? On several fronts, re re Resolution has been awesome during this time. I have been really tight with my guide, Tanya Perkins, since we met in 2015 and just continues to be a, a huge rock and mentor, even post venture closing. Like she's just become a personal friend to me now. Um, but I've been really inspired by the response by George and the leadership team to some of the, the, the financial burdens that may have impacted some of the some of the fellows seeing that you know there was options for some relief and response to all the black lives matter protests um and i you know i just found myself on a whatsapp group with some fellows back in kenya people saying like hey we're here we're in this together i think that network and that support has just been so vital during this time so i think you know, in the future, having more of these discussions, these panels, these talks where people can share ideas about how they're overcoming these situations is going to be really key, especially for young entrepreneurs who are starting out, who are building new things that before the pandemic were already difficult. And Lyra, what about you? Have you, Is there anything you'd like to add from your own experience about Resolution has supported you and you know, additional support and guidance that, that you would continue to need uh, moving forward to continue the impact you're having in the community or scale it? Um, I'd say, you know, uh, picking up from uh, Michelle's, uh, uh, you know, uh, some of her points. Um, I think for me, I've been, you know, uh, quite, quite fortunate to like have um, three, 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 three guides. So that's Sam, um, uh, Kojo and Miss Yvonne, who have been very instrumental. And I think I was, I was um, just recently the other day chatting with a fellow, uh, with, a, with a fellow fellow, um that's uh, uh from 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 nepal and you know one thing i pointed out was you know what's what's very unique about uh, uh resolution fellowship with the other fellowships is that you know resolution has made that uh, you know focal uh focus to be on the on the on you as an individual which has been you know um gone gone many miles to 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 show that okay you know it's not just about the work that you're doing you are central to it and i think that's you know for me has been um a really um the biggest value that i'm getting especially at this time and you know um knowing that the um, number of resources which are at our disposal as well um i think support you know in the strongest and in, in, in my in, in the strongest possible ways you know starts from those small things but then you know starts by identifying that okay yes you um you are a human and you are you know much more than 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 whatever we uh than whatever was that we, we were attracted to you by i love the way you put that leroy i think you both talked about this in your response the importance of the community of fellows is i think one of one of the most impactful parts of being a resolution fellow. And I've seen this with the fellows that I mentor as well, is being able to bounce ideas off of each other, not just fellows who are in the same country or same city or even working in the same sector as you, but just the, the similar challenges that you face as young people, um, particularly in the time of crisis. So I think your point, Michelle, about having a WhatsApp group to talk to um, you know, fellow Kenyans, I think is so important. And Leroy, just remembering that it's not just about you and what you're dealing with, but where it all comes back as a community and how you work together 